Fables and Stories, Lesson 9, The Tale of Peter Rabbit. Listen carefully and be able to tell the moral of the story. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Who are the members of the rabbit family? Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I'm going out. What does Mrs. Rabbit tell her children not to do? What do you think mischief means? If you get into mischief, you do something that causes trouble. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Why do you think Mrs. Rabbit bought five currant buns at the baker's? Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. Who is good and listens to their mother's directions? But Peter who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. Who is naughty or makes a bad choice and does not listen to Mrs. Rabbit's directions? What do you think will happen in Mr. McGregor's garden? First, he ate some lettuces and some French beans, and then he ate some radishes. And then, feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley. Why is Peter feeling rather sick? But round the end of a cucumber frame, whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? What do you think is going to happen now that Mr. McGregor sees Peter? Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees, planting out young cabbages, but he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out, Stop! Thief! Do you know what a thief is? A thief is someone who steals. Why does Mr. McGregor call Peter a thief? How do you think Peter feels? Peter was most dreadfully frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages and the other shoe amongst the potatoes. What happens to Peter because he is so frightened or scared? After losing them, he ran on four legs and went faster so that I think he might have got away altogether if he had not unfortunately run into a gooseberry net and got caught by the large buttons on his jacket. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons, quite new. Will Peter be able to get out of the net? Peter gave himself up for lost and shed big tears, but his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows who flew to him in great excitement and implored him to exert himself. Sobs are the sounds sometimes made when crying. Who hears Peter's sobs and encourages him to exert himself or make a real effort to wriggle out of the net? Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve which he intended to pop upon the top of Peter, but Peter wriggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him. Is he able to escape? What does Peter leave behind? 
He rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in if it had not had so much water in it. Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed, perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. He began to turn them over carefully, looking under each. Presently, Peter sneezed. Achoo! Mr. McGregor was after him in no time. Where does Peter hide from Mr. McGregor? This works until Peter does what? He tried to put his foot upon Peter, who jumped out of the window, upsetting three plants. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor, and he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. That was a close call. Has Peter gotten away from Mr. McGregor? Peter sat down to rest. He was out of breath and trembling with fright, and he had not the least idea which way to go. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. After a time, he began to wander about, going lippity, lippity, not very fast, and looking all around. What will Peter do next? He found a door in a wall, but it was locked and there was no room for a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep, carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Peter asked her the way to the gate, but she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. She only shook her head at him. Peter began to cry. Why do you think Peter is crying if he has gotten away from Mr. McGregor? Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden, but he became more and more puzzled. Presently, he came to a pond where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. She sat very, very still, but now and then the tip of her tail twitched as if it were alive. Peter thought it best to go away without speaking to her. He had heard about cats from his cousin, Little Benjamin Bunny. Why doesn't Peter ask the cat for help? He went back towards the tool shed, but suddenly, quite close to him, he heard the noise of a hole. Scritch, scratch, scratch, scritch. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. But presently, as nothing happened, he came out and climbed upon a wheelbarrow and peeped over. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. His bat was turned towards Peter, and beyond him was the gate. Will Peter be able to get out of the gate without Mr. McGregor seeing him? Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could go along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner, but Peter did not care. He slipped underneath the gate and was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. Let's give a cheer because Peter is outside of the garden and safe. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow to frighten the blackbirds. Whose jacket and shoes are those? Peter never stopped running or looked behind him till he got home to the big fir tree. He was so tired that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes. His mother was busy cooking. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. It was a second little jacket and a pair of shoes 
that Peter had lost in a fortnight. Why is Peter so tired? If this is the second little jacket and pair of shoes that Peter has lost, do you think Peter has gotten with such mischief before? I am sorry to say that Peter was not very well during the evening. His mother put him to bed and made some chamomile tea and she gave a dose of it to Peter. One tablespoon to be taken at bedtime. Why is Peter not feeling well? Do you think his mother knows what happened? But Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Why do Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail get to have a nice dinner. Does this story teach us a lesson? Do you think Peter learned his lesson? Moral, listen to your parents' advice.